Hi and welcome to the fourth Digital Marketing News Roundup. Well, hasn't time flown when you've had fun? Um, so we've got another great set of stories for this week's episode. We hope you enjoy. So Facebook is removing a number of fields from pages. Facebook's digital wallet, Calibra. Microsoft Advertising Editor now supports price extensions. Create and edit responsive search ads in the Google Ads mobile app. Google to stop supporting no index directive in robots.txt. Fake Google Maps listings are hurting real businesses. Bing never supported no index in robot.txt files. Facebook is downgrading posts that use exaggerated health claims. So Facebook is removing a number of fields from pages. The fields which are going to be removed include company overview, biography, affiliation, personal interests and possibly even some others. These will be removed starting from around the 1st of August. So to combat the loss of this information, page owners can edit their page description to include the soon deleted field information. By doing this, it allows pages to have the necessary information available to page visitors, although it's likely that the removal will not impact a page's performance. Facebook's digital wallet, Calibra. In 2020, Facebook are launching their own digital wallet. It will be a standalone app that is also built into Messenger and WhatsApp. It will enable global users to make financial transactions using Libra, their newly formed currency. Calibra data will not be used for ad targeting, but Facebook expects their move into cryptocurrency to have a positive impact on ad revenue. Calibra is predicted to drive more ad business for Facebook. It could create global e-commerce opportunities with its cross-border payment capabilities. Microsoft Advertising Editor now supports price extensions. So price extensions were rolled out with Google a few years ago and they were launched last year with Microsoft Advertising but now they can be managed within Advertising Editor which is the offline editing program. So if you go into the Shared Library and Editor you can add headers, descriptions and prices to associate price extensions with ad groups and campaigns, select an ad group and use the Choose Price Extension dialog box. So it means you can now manage price extensions in bulk potentially saving a lot of time. Create and edit responsive search ads in the Google Ads mobile app. You can now directly create and edit responsive search ads in the app. In the past, you can only pause or enable ads. Google is also rolling out new app capabilities such as creating and ed editing negative keywords. If you go into the app and select the campaign, then the ad group that you want to add or edit ads in, you can create and edit ads as you would do on a desktop computer. This can be helpful for launching last minute promotions anywhere you are. Google to stop supporting no index directive in robots.txt. Google have said, in the interest of maintaining a healthy ecosystem and preparing for potential future open source releases, we are retiring all code that handles unsupported and unpublished rules, such as no index. On September the 1st, 2019, this will be phased out. For those of you who relied on the no index indexing directive of the robots.txt file, while controlling the crawling of that, there are a number of alternative options. There are some alternatives which include 404 and 410 status codes which will drop URLs from Google's index. Password protection will also remove a page from Google's index. You can also use the Search Console Remove URL tool. On the 1st of July, Google announced that the company is working on making the robots exclusion protocol a standard and this is probably the first change coming. Google has also been looking to change this for years and Google will standardise the protocol which we can now move forward. Fake Google Maps listings are hurting real businesses. Google carries approximately 11 million illegitimate local listings. These are pushing real businesses further down in local search results. Google say they are aware of the problem and are trying to combat spam listings. Some people say that Google didn't take the problem of listing authenticity seriously enough from the beginning. Priority was placed on the user experience over anything else. Bing never supported no index in robot.txt files. Frederick Dubuff from Bing has said that its search engine has never supported the no index in a robot.txt file, so nothing's going to be changing on Bing for this front. However, Google have said that they will officially stop supporting this towards the end of the year. Frederick Dubuff also wrote on Twitter that the undocumented no index directive never worked for Bing, so this will align behaviour across the two search engines. No index meta tags or HTTP header return codes are all fine ways to remove content from Bing. Facebook is downgrading posts that use exaggerated health claims. The company said it made changes to its algorithm last month to reduce the amount of misleading health information on the platform. Facebook product manager Travis Yeah has said, we know that people don't like posts that are sensational or spammy, and misleading health content is particularly bad for our community. 
Facebook said it is identifying phrases commonly used in these types of posts to predict which may lower sensational health-related claims and then demoting such posts lower in the newsfeed. Marketers managing Facebook pages for healthcare products or services should be mindful of the messaging they are using on the platform. To determine if a post should be downgraded, Facebook gave the following clarification. We consider if a post promotes a product or service based on health-related claims, for example, promoting a medication or pill claiming to help you lose weight. So thank you for watching this week's episode. Don't forget to follow us on our social channels if you want to see the stories as they drop. You can also subscribe to this to get our video next week straight into your email box. Thanks again for listening and speak to you in a couple of weeks.